Hey everyone, welcome back to Tarot Mystic 1111. Uh, so this is going to be an energy update to see what's happening in your connection to check um, what's your person's current thoughts and feelings towards you. So before I begin, I just want you all to know that this is a general reading and it might not resonate with each one of you out there. And if you feel like a bit of it is resonating with you, please feel free to reach out for a personal consultation. I also offer love spells, reconciliation spells, money spells and different kind of spells. So link for all of this is in the description box below. So you can go and check out. You can email me at my email ID, which is again in the description box. Or you can reach out to me on my personal number, WhatsApp me there. All right. So let's see what are the current thoughts and feelings of your person towards you. What's happening in your connection? What's going on? okay so i do feel like something has ended here and on not a very good note because you feel uh, kind of disappointed here you feel like things ended uh, on a very bad note and you know there's a lot of hurt disappointment sadness and um, you kind of felt cheated I, I mean i feel like for some of you you gave, give gave this relationship maybe 10 years of your life or maybe 10 months but all of a sudden things um kind of didn't go the way you wanted them to and um, and yeah i feel all this is happening because uh, your person seems to be making their work a priority they just want to focus on their work they have a lot of work pressure or work responsibilities because of which um, they decided to maybe you know end this relationship right we have the five of cups so something has ended here or maybe for some of you i'm picking up also uh, the energy that um maybe something is not going right in your personal relationship and this is the reason you are trying to distract yourself from taking on a lot of work and it's actually making you feel frustrated um it's actually causing a lot of health issues for you even you know backache problems is what i'm seeing here like you you are um having so much of back uh, back pain and uh, you know you're just not able to sit properly you just want to kind of not wake up and go to work and you know you feel like all the time you just need to take some rest and maybe even just um, not feel like waking up in the morning you know because of something that has ended a relationship maybe so this is creating a lot of negativity and um, you know a lot of negative atmosphere in negative mindset and also you're trying to distract yourself uh, with a lot of work but then it's just creating more health problems for you right now this could be your energy or this could be the person uh, person's energy that you're dealing with but definitely i do see an ending here with the five of cups something has ended um yeah all right so let's see what are the other messages yes we have the devil card the capricorn energy here saturn energy so i feel for some of you your saturn um you know as i say your saturn cycle is going on and you feel like um you know nothing is going your way everything is just feeling so negative you're coming across negative people all the time toxic people are there around you you feel like something has done some sort of black magic on you because fe things feel so stuck right and uh, for others of you i feel like um you know there has been some toxicity in regards to a relationship you know some sort of emotional codependency or um something that didn't work out for you in a relationship and it's creating a lot of negativity or it created a lot of toxicity in your in your uh, in your life in your relationship right and now uh, even now if things have ended you're just not able to move on and i feel like for some of you uh, either this is like a third party situation where um, somebody is trying to control uh, you and your person or maybe they have done something negative uh, some spell work or something on you and or your person and creating a lot of toxicity in your relationship or uh, maybe this could be the person that you're dealing with maybe they, they were they were toxic for you and this relationship had to end but i think somewhere you're not able to move on you're not able to release this toxicity this toxic energy uh, this toxic person from your life right saturn is uh, going on i think for some of you you could be um, either uh, entering into a cycle of saturn mahadasha or maybe you know um, saturn is heavily inflicted in your chart right so i do see like um money and career wise i do see like this person could be you know um, more concerned with their financial stability i think they are right now uh they're trying to stabilize their their finances i think for some of you also um this could be a toxic relationship because money was involved 
I think um, like you share some money ties with this person or maybe, you know, um, there is some financial angle or issue involved here. This is the reason, you know, things didn't work out well. And now you're trying to move on and you're trying to focus on your own finances, your career. And something is definitely unfolding for you, you know, as you move forward. I do see you leaving behind toxic people, toxic relationships. And this is kind of, you know, helping you move towards your manifestation with the Ace of Pentacles. I do see unfolding of new beginnings more new stable and absolutely financial windfall you know ace of pentacles is the ultimate financial uh, windfall card right so you are getting a lot of money as you move forward and cut yourself off from this toxic relationship or this toxic person and i do see you moving towards something uh, something more stable and also uh, like a financial upswing is happening for you we have the knight of pentacles here which is uh, virgo taurus capricorn energy so stable new beginnings right you are improvising yourself you are moving forward at bite slowly but then things are um, you know coming your way in the right uh, right manner the right way right and and all this is happening because you are uh, have done work on yourself you are trying to release this person you are trying to move on from this toxic relationship and as you move on i feel like um it's like money is coming to you as well your finances are improving as well so so it's it's like you know our relationships and our finances our work our our um, financial security our money mindset is interlinked right so if we are in a toxic relationship we'll see that somewhere uh, there could be financial blockages in our life too because we uh, because of our own not toxic and negative mindset we kind of create those financial blockages as well so it's very important to release any kind of toxicity from your life so that your finances can improve as well so we have the hangman card here the pisces energy right so definitely it's not an easy way forward you're taking your own time things feel very very slow right now you feel like uh, there is no change happening at all no movement but then yes it's a slow uh, move a forward movement for you but then uh, you are trying to also see things from a different perspective and this is actually a blessing in disguise you know because what is coming your way is going to be like really really amazing and you are just not able to see this right now because you are at a crossroads with the two of swords uh, you feel like it's it's very confusing for you 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 don't know which direction your life is going ever since this relationship ended you are in so much depression you are uh, like you just don't feel like waking up you just don't feel like going to work uh, but then you're at a crossroads like i, I do see some sort of um, financial opportunity coming your way but then you are not sure of what to uh, what to do next like how to move forward you feel like whatever you do there is always like a doubt a question mark so um i think right now your senses are completely numb like you're not able to make any decision you're not able to move forward you don't see any any path opening up for you and this is like a situation where you completely feel numb and lost yes so i i do see like you are um going through a lot of challenges in your life right now seven of wands and um, of course you feel defeated you feel like you've been um back down in a corner you know by other people other people could be creating challenges for you especially um you know your person relationships people around you and like i said before i think there's a lot of toxicity and negativity to your situation in your life right now but as you move forward i feel with the ace of wands i'm definitely seeing uh, first of all i'm seeing a new attraction here and i think you are going to meet this person at your workplace right you are going to instantly feel attracted towards this person and also i feel there is going to be great uh, career opportunities coming your way with the ace of wands you are moving towards um new vitality like you'll be feeling energetic all over again your health would improve and of course i do see a new person also entering your life with the ace of wands so i feel whatever happened with you in the past i think you just need to process it and release this toxic energy this person was extremely toxic for you yes and um some way you know you see i'm getting the star card here right and i'm getting it right below the five of cups so it means like somewhere you're still hoping that you know the past person would come back somewhere you're still hoping that things might revive with the past person right i also have the the queen of swords air energy gemini uh, libra aquarius so you're hoping that your ex would come back and you know you're also sad of whatever they did to you i feel this ex was really really uh, i mean 
they, they kind of ruined your life they kind of played with your emotions they might have cheated on you and this was a very cold person a very cold energy this ex but you're still kind of hoping that things would improve they, they might come forward and apologize to you at least they should give you a closure you know but but that never happens closure is something we need to give to ourselves you know we shouldn't wait for the other person to come and apologize to us and say okay, hey this is this is the last time we are gonna have a talk and th this is it i'm going to end it from my side you know it, it doesn't happen it never happens that way because the other person has to be evolved as much to to say uh, these things and to give the relationship a closure but usually people are not that much aware and evolved right so you're you're still kind of hoping that this person would give you a closure and they would come back and you know uh, this might revive the connection but i think this person was extremely toxic for you this is like an extremely extremely toxic ex this person and it's a possibility that they kind of you know kept you stuck with them because they just for their own good for their own advantage you know they just kind of used you and created so much of toxicity it just affected your mind so badly I i'm not sure if they did black magic on you as well but this seems to be a, a toxic ex and they kind of ruined their ruined your life and you have to kind of move on from them even though secretly you're you're still hoping and manifesting that they come back in your life but it's just that I feel universe wants you to move on, right? And you are trying to, you are trying to, maybe you, for some of you, you've already met a new person. You know, we, we saw the Ace of Wands, you've already met someone new. Maybe this person, uh, you know, works with you in the same organization. Maybe you have work ties with this person, uh, but you are still unable to release your ex, right? You're still unable to release your ex. You're kind of juggling back and forth. Um, but again i feel you are also trying to distract yourself from taking on a lot of work which is again creating problems for you i feel may maybe there could be pain in your legs maybe you're standing the whole day and you know you're taking on so much work just to kind of forget yourself uh, uh, you know from from not to think about your your ex your past that you're taking multiple jobs at the same time and it's becoming very difficult for you to balance your personal life with your work life and at the end of the day it, your health is affected you know your health is being affected and i see you having a lot of uh, leg ache and muscle ache you know you're just not because you're just so busy juggling um and still not able to move on from the past we have again the eight of swords right we have the eight of swords like there could be a new person entering your life you've already met this person you want to move on you want to like i, I see huge money coming towards you but you're still stuck you have a lot of fear you just cannot see yourself moving on from that ex person and uh, maybe you're trying to but you're just not able to so it's going to take some time i think you need to give yourself some time to move on from this person i do see a change happening and right now you're going through a rebirth of sorts and a lot of transformation is happening i think it's going to last until november december um till the time you know this person is completely out of your energetic system and you're completely kind of moving on from them so it's going to take some time but yes the process has already started for you it's just that you need to go with the flow and kind of you know surrender to the universe because i do see a change universe is bringing a change you know this is like we have two major arcanas so this is this is this situation is under the control of universe not in under your control all you need to do is surrender and forgive the person for what they did you know mentally traumatizing you and you need to surrender and look for more answers because i feel like answers are coming to you whatever they did they're going to get their karma for it but you don't have to be in this state of depression and sadness and you know not able to see the good things in your life because i feel like good things are coming your way i have two new beginning cards here ace of wands ace of pentacles someone new is about to enter your life or you've already met them it's just that you're finding it difficult oh my god ace of cups again another ace so it's very clear emotion new beginnings financial new beginnings stable new beginnings and some somebody that you you seem to be attracted towards and this new person will completely change your life and i think for some of you you've already met this person and you know you 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 were kind of you know having those butterflies in your stomach and you kind of feel something for them but you're trying to stay in denial you know you're you're like pushing them away maybe because you're not sure and why is that happening because you have not cleared your uh, your your system from the x right because unless um we clear our blockages to new love we're obviously not going to welcome new love like that right 
So we have the six of swords. So definitely you're moving forward. I think this new person would help you move forward. Things are resolving for you. Communication is also getting better. Whatever mental stress, tension, conflict you had, I think this is all um, happening. Maybe for some of you, you're planning to relocate. Maybe you don't want to be in the same place as your ex and you're trying to you know, move on and relocate to some other place. Maybe you're getting a new job somewhere. So whatever it is, I think you are moving on to calmer waters and situations are also improving for you, getting better. Okay, so what else do we need to know? Yes, so yes, you are kind of frustrated because, you know, you have been through a lot and now you just want to give up. But the universe wants you to stay balanced, right? This is a message for you, justice card. Like there is a breakthrough just around the corner, but you need to balance your energies. And, you know, this is all happening because you share very strong uh, karmic ties or maybe you had a very strong, um, you know, karma, uh, past karmic debts to be paid off with this particular ex. So, you know, all these are lessons that you need to learn before uh, something big um, can come your way. And I do see something uh, amazing and something huge unfolding for you. So you just have to kind of keep uh, yourself in a balanced state. Uh, this is a justice card, Libra card here. So you could be dealing with the Libra right and you are getting frustrated but i think it's it's just a matter of a few more months maybe and yes right now a lot of changes are happening for you i think your intuition could be also guiding you um, and telling you that you know something uh, amazing is about to unfold for you so you just need to trust your intuition and right now things are you know very very fluid like uh, uncertainties are there it's like changes are happening with full moons new moons right i mean um during full moons and new moons maybe your energies are affected badly and you you know you have like huge uh and major mood swings uh happening for you uh but you know this is like this is because changes are happening in your life and you have to deal with these changes so let's see what's the concluding message like yeah see we have like five of wands so this is again drama created by third party and you know a past person so i feel you're you're trying to control your triggers but you know again when you try to move forward this ex person they show up somehow not maybe actively in your life but you know the triggers show up and you just cannot uh, i mean this all creates a lot of inner tension for you and you're just not able to focus on your career focus on your job and this is like there's so much of tension in your life right now also with the moon card you could be dealing with the pisces here so what's the concluding message what's eventually going to happen for you patience patience is required again this is a patience card you need to trust that right now whatever effort you are putting into it's going to i'm you know i'm, I'm getting this strong energy of saturn i think for some of you you are in a saturn cycle like the seven and a half year cycle that goes on and you know this is something that you have to go through and it's it's learning you uh, making you learn a lot of lessons and helping you uh, keep your calm and patience and uh, and yes i mean just follow your intuition because i think universe is trying to show you something some signs synchronicities dreams you could be heavily clearing your baggage in your dreams right so this is what you need to know and um, let's see what's the advice message for you advice and guidance yes so I do see a lot of money coming to you. You're going to be like really independent, free of those toxic thoughts and toxic people uh, in your life and attracting a lot of, um, you know, money towards you, prosperity, abundance. And you have been through, you know, difficult changes. And uh, this this hasn't been easy, you know, these changes, these challenges. But I think this is eventually making you, um, you know, turn out to be someone who is stable, who's committed to their work and, you know, somebody who, has learned uh, and become wiser you know they've learned their lessons well they've become wiser and i feel the universe is going to bless you with whatever you are manifesting for yourself be it a loving relationship a loyal person or maybe even financially i mean i think the queen of pentacles is the ultimate financial card so you are just attracting so much of abundance and money towards you uh, of course this is uh, an earth energy so you could be dealing with a virgo taurus capricorn but yes Lots of money is coming towards you and you need to release these toxic relationships 
and uh, stay patient because amazing things are on on their way for you right so you just have to stay patient three of wands all right guys so this was the energy update i'm sure it's going to resonate only with a few of you so um just let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you or not please do like share and uh, subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on your next one thank you so much for watching